All right, what's going down, guys? It's your boy, EJ, the judge in Duke. And um, coming to you guys with this new vlog, um, talk about a little bit of uh, what's going down. Uh, my journey, I'm gonna have a 30 day journey. The 30 day non-compete. You better believe we're gonna be grinding. We're gonna be shining and we're gonna be ready at the end of the 30 days. Where we go from there, I don't know. But you better believe the judge will be ready. Today I'm gonna take you through my back workout to talk about some of the things that I concentrate when I'm hitting the back. Um, during this 30 days, I'm really gonna try to do a transformation. I'm gonna get leaner, I'm gonna get faster, and I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get my cardio up. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm just gonna be ready. Um, I was gonna go through my t-shirt designs, concepts, designs, all that stuff. I'm gonna give you that inside scoop. Make sure y'all check it out on Pro Wrestling Tees. The t-shirts are up now. The link is down below. And uh, let's get to it, baby! All right, y'all. So we've got seated rows right here. This is one of my favorite back routines. I started with about quarter of the weight for a warm-up set. And when I do these, I do them a unique tempo. I normally go one, two, hold. One, two, hold. I try to get that squeeze, that mind-muscle connection, because it's really important with this. It's a real easy movement, and it reaps a lot of benefits. With seated rows, I'm doing anywhere between four to five sets, about eight reps. Look at that glance. Boy's working. All right, here we go. We've got upright rows with the cable. Okay, so this is not a movement that I do all the time, but recently I've really been trying to engage my traps. So I pull it to the top, and again, I hold it for a count of two. Bow! So this was my fourth set, and it started to get a little sloppy at the end, so I just started to wrap them out, try to get as many as I can to failure at the end. These ain't no joke now. These are excellent finishers. So this past week, I've been really trying to push myself, really trying to push my back. I've been working out with a little bit of chip on my shoulder, if you know what I'm saying. So I threw five plates on that thing, and we, we went for a ride. Hey, make no mistake now. Those five plates are heavy. But your boy's here to work. I told you, this 30-day non-compete challenge, I'm trying to transform my body. So again, controlled motion, squeezing at the bottom of the rep. Yo, my guy right here was just was mirroring all day, just staring, walking past the camera. I had to reshoot this several times. I was like, sheesh, bro, let me focus. So I started to take the sled for a ride. Here we got eight plates on that thing. This is about 10 yards on uh, this turf deal. And I went up and down it 10 times. Up and down was one. I did it 10 times, just trying to get my heart rate going. Uh, that thing was heavy. It was a total body workout and it felt good, man. I was tired, whole body was sore. All right, y'all. So these are some of the designs that I've been working on. We got the anti-judge, Judge Club. Everybody knows where this is from. If you're reading this, it's too late. The judge is here. We got the praying hands. This is one of my favorites. The righteous will never fall. So these are just some of the collections that I got. Shirts are out now on Pro Wrestling Tees. Check them out, y'all. Check them out, y'all. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Fear of judge with the praying hands. And I got my meals right here. If y'all know, you know. If you know, you know. All right. So this is my starting weight. I'm about one, two, I said one. I'm about 278. Solid. Still pretty lean, but I'm trying to get a little bit leaner, get that stomach a little bit tighter. And uh, I'm excited to walk you guys through this process, man. It's 30 days, this is week one. I've been doing this for about five days now. And uh, the goal is to really tighten up, be explosive, 
and show out when I come out, guys. I appreciate all the support. I'm going to be documenting this journey. And um, I'm going to show everybody why it was a mistake to let the judge go. You know, it's tough because I was released during the pandemic. And, you know, I have a newborn son, Exodus, a lot of y'all know. And uh, it just means a lot. You know, this is just, it's just... It's just another um, trial and tribulation. And you know, is uh, God don't give battles to those he doesn't think, he doesn't think can handle it. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on right now. But you know, I'm always gonna bet on myself. I'm gonna do this for my family. Do it for Exodus. And I'm gonna do it for all of you out there Everyone that's always gotten that no, that door that was closed in their face, even though you were working hard, you were grinding, doing everything you were supposed to do, sometimes, you know, the dice just doesn't rule in your favor. But you got to control what you can control. And you can't fold. You can't give up. You got to keep your head up and look up because the only direction is up. Part of the reason why I'm doing this is for myself, to prove to myself that I got what it takes, to prove to myself that I am elite level athlete and I'm the guy. So at the end of this process, you guys are gonna see what God can do and what happens when you work and put that work in because the judge doesn't stop. This is just chapter one. And everybody that's on this ride we're going to do this together. We're going to get to the finish line. So, guys, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. And I'm going to take you to this journey. And I'm going to keep vlogging for you guys. And I appreciate every single one of you. It means a lot. Especially now. Because this is when you really realize who's been riding with you. So, it's the judge signing off. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed.